Hello, you're watching Review Wiz, and in this video, I'd just like to tell you about my experience with my LED TV by LG model 43UJ632T that I bought way back in 2018 for around $380 or around 5.5 million rupees at that time. So just a quick review of the features first. This is a 43 inch Ultra HD or 4K LED Smart TV with WebOS 3.5 as the operating system. It has active HDR image quality. And just like any other smart TV, you can browse the internet with the browser, use apps such as YouTube, Netflix, or any other app that you can download in the LG content store. It comes with a magic remote which displays a pointer on the screen wirelessly. Other features such as three HDMI ports, two USB ports, and a LAN port, and Bluetooth connection. Anyway, I don't want to get too detailed about the TV itself. Overall, I think it's a very good TV. LG is a well-known, high-quality brand for electronics. However, I'd like to focus on the problem that I had with the TV. So after about three years of use, something happened to the image. The color started to fade, and what had to be white seemed to look bluish. I had blue spots all around my TV. This was caused by a faulty backlight LED array according to the TV technicians from LG so the LED strips had to be replaced. According to some sources, unfortunately this is common on some LED TVs released before 2019 that use LED array strips. If this is the case with your TV, the only solution to fix the blue tint problem is to get the backlight LED array strips replaced. So I reported the problem to the LG service center and they were very responsive and reliable. Jadi masalahnya kan apa itu? Lampu LED. Apa nih? Lampu LED. LED. Here you can see the two technicians from LG's service center repairing my TV on the spot. Did you miss it? Yeah. Yeah. The technicians seemed very well trained and professional and were very careful when replacing the LED strips. So I asked them what was the cause of the problem. They informed me that the possible cause of the damage was by lightning strikes and unstable electricity at my house. So they suggested to use a stabilizer to avoid damage. You can see that they're very careful in removing this front panel. Now here are the LED strips to be replaced. It actually looks pretty simple. All they did was just remove the old LED strips and replace with the new ones uh, by sticking on a double-sided tape.
Once completed, now to reassemble. Jadi kalau dipegang-pegang ini nggak masalah ya? Nggak apa-apa ya? Maksudnya dia menanggung satel, ini nggak akan kalau cuma di... So once everything was replaced and reassembled, they tested it to see if everything is working just fine. Okay. So once the LED strips were replaced, the TV worked properly again. And until the time of this recording, or about three months after the LED strips had been replaced, I haven't faced another problem again so far. But as you can see here, I noticed some dark spots on the edges of the TV. The technician said that this is normal for LED TVs, but because it was unnoticeable, I didn't really mind this. So this is my TV after everything's been repaired. So overall, I haven't had any problems and the TV works just fine. So I hope this video was very useful to you. If you have any questions or comments, please do leave it in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to see more of my videos. And as always, stay healthy.